all the way back in the early months of 2020, I painted a simple illustration of Arlington Row. If you haven't heard of it before, it's a 14th century wool store that was later converted into houses in the 17th century, and it's in the beautiful Cotswold village of Arlington in England. It didn't take me long to paint, and it was a rather small illustration, but eventually when I opened my Etsy shop, I turned this painting into a print, and it's been one of my best sellers ever since. Now fast forward to September of last year, I wanted to revisit my painting of Arlington Row, but approach it in a more detailed way that would better illustrate the architecture of the houses on the street. So I started to plan the illustration which was going to be my largest painting yet, and I knew when I started the painting I wanted to eventually turn this illustration into a print as well. The only problem is, I never got round to finishing the painting. So that's what I'm working on this week. I want to at least get started on the house at the back and also finish the main roofed section on the left as well. When I first sketched out this illustration of Arlington Row, I was a little bit daunted by its size. Up until this one, most of the paintings that I've worked on are rather small in size. I suppose this is a negative of working a lot with an A5 sketchbook. You get really comfortable with painting on a particular size paper, and anything bigger than that just sort of threatens your confidence a little bit. Because I usually paint on smaller paper, my paintings naturally have to be rather small, which basically means I can miss out on some details in my illustrations, and no one will probably notice. On the other hand, I can use this to my advantage and make my paintings look more detailed, because I have to squeeze all this information into a smaller space. But if I'm working on larger paper, I have a lot more space and I find it a lot harder to keep that detail when everything's spread out. And it's just a lack of practice on working on larger paper, but I just never have bothered with practicing, so this is my first time. <laughs> So originally for this illustration of Arlington Row, I both wanted to get out of my comfort zone with the paper size, but also make a perfect painting at the same time. 
And as you can probably imagine, these two goals really contradict each other. It's very hard to try a new thing and have it come out perfectly as well. So I think that's why I ended up putting this painting aside for so long. I originally painted the roofs of a couple of houses in the background and I was so happy with how they turned out I was just afraid that I'd mess up the other roofs and therefore ruin the whole illustration. So I just put the whole painting aside for months and months. In the meantime this unfinished painting has been sitting in a drawer. I've had a lot more experience with watercolour and have a bit more confidence with my abilities too. And I've also come to the realisation that this painting isn't going to paint itself. I know this is an obvious fact but for the last few months I've just been thinking on and off, oh if the Arlington Row painting was finished I could have that illustration in my portfolio now and if it was finished I could turn that into a print and sell it on my Etsy shop. But no one's going to finish it for me and if they did then it wouldn't be my painting any longer so I need to get around to finishing this painting. <laughs> finally stop those nagging thoughts in my head of having unfinished work in my sketchbook and also I can try and stretch my comfort zone and work on a larger piece of paper. And to be quite honest, I'm recording this audio after I've filmed the vlog and what I've added to the painting this week is more or less exactly what I'd hoped for. It could be just a bit too dark in some places but I don't really mind that much and at least I can confidently say I haven't screwed up the illustration just yet. Thank you very much for watching this week's studio vlog. Hopefully it's been somewhat entertaining and maybe it's even inspired you to go back to that thing that you've put away in your drawer and continue on with it or just experiment a bit more with it. I'm not going to just put away this painting again for six months. I really want to finish it in the next few weeks so we'll see how we go. And I'll try and add a couple pictures of it to my Instagram page in the meantime just to keep you updated. But apart from that I'll see you again in another video. Bye!